Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to add the product to the cart. So we'll let the user add the product to their cart. So for it, we're going to have a add to cart button and we're going to create a cart table in our database. And in the cart table, we'll use user ID and product ID as a foreign key. So for it, let's go back to our core and we'll go to our product.blade.php and here you can see the details anchor tag so after this anchor tag we are going to mention another anchor tag and here we are going to say add to card and let's mention a bootstrap class here let's say here class it will be btn btn and let's say primary then save it and if we now refresh here there you can see we have a add to card button right now so let's go back right now what we will do is we are going to create a table for add to cart so we are going to create a cart table so for it we will go to our project location and let me just open a command from here we say cmd press enter and here we are going to write this command php artisan make clone model then we will mention the cart then minus n so it will create a model and migration for cart table at the same time so right now if we press enter there you can see modern and migration is created so right now if we just go back to our code then if we go to our database then migrations here you can see we have cart table and if we go to app then models and here you can see cart.php so first of all here we are going to create a foreign key so for it we are going to say dollar table and in order to create foreign key we need to say here unsigned big integer then to first bracket to single position we'll use user underscore id as a foreign key after that let me just copy this and we'll paste it here and here we're going to say unsigned this will be product id so let's say here product id and after that we need to mention in here this foreign key so for it we need to say dollar table this arrow sign foreign to first bracket single quotation user underscore id uh, we are mentioning that we are going to use user underscore id as a foreign key and the reference we need to mention a reference arians references and it will be id from the user table so we need to say here on users then this arrow sign we say here on delete it will be cascade on delete cascade and we need to keep this inside single quotation so here on delete cascade means if you let's say delete a parent data then it will also delete the child data because it will not make any sense to keep the child data so after this let me just copy then paste it here and this time we are going to say here product product id and our table name will be products product and it will be on update on update and let's save this and right now let's we'll go back to the common prompt and let's say here php artisan migrate and press enter and there you can see all table is migrated and make sure that you have added unsigned big in this for foreign key okay so right now if we just go back to our database then refresh here there you can see we have a card table and in the card table we have user id and product id so what you want is that whenever someone wants to add product to their card that user must be logged in so here we are already logged in so let me just log out from here and here you can see currently we are logged out and first of all what you want is that when you click on this add to cart button if the user is logged in okay then it will add the product to their cart otherwise it will send the user to the login page so for it let's go back to the port and we will go to our product.blade.php and first of all in this href we will give to second bracket then we'll say here urn to first bracket to single quotation let's say here add underscore card 
and first of all in order to add a product to the cart we need to get the product id so in order to get the product id this is really simple we just need to use this dollar products so we are going to say here comma dollar product this arrow sign id so right now let me just show you if i now save refresh here click on add to cart there you can see in the urn where i want to see the product id so let's go back and let's go and create the route for this so we'll go to our web.php then let me just uh, copy this on control c then control p and here what we are going to do is we are going to add middleware all so let me just copy it from uh, here from here let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it over here we say here middleware auth okay verified and here it will be add underscore card and we also need to get the product id as well so here where we will say add underscore card id we use the bone controller function name will be add underscore card and here middleware auth it means it will check whether a user is logged in or not so right now if a user is not logged in and click on the add to cart button first of all it will check whether that user is logged in if the user is logged in okay and the product to the cart and if the user is not logged in then our project will send the user to the login page let me just show you if i just refresh here then click on add to cart there you can see it send us to the login page so let's go back to the core and here right now we'll go to our home controller and print this add cart function so let's go to our home controller and here we're going to send public function add underscore card to first bracket first of all we'll get that id and then do second bracket so in that card table we need to get the logged in user id and the product id okay so we are able to easily get the product id whenever we click on add to car so right now we are uh, first of all let's get the product id so we said here dollar product underscore id equal to it is just uh this id we can just say it over here id so right now in order to add the logged in user id first of all we need to add the user model at the top so let me just copy this then paste it over here and here we are going to say use app backslash model backslash user and after this we need to add one more thing and that is use illuminate backslash support backslash faggot backslash it will be all so since we mentioned auth and the user model so we will be able to get the logged in user id so in order to get the logged in user id we need to say here uh, let's just declare a variable let's say dollar user equal to auth double close we are going to mention the user table name then to first bracket like this and after it let's declare another variable we'll say here dollar user underscore id equal to right now we're going to mention this dollar user here and then this arrow sign id so here what we are doing is that we are getting the logged in user all the data and storing it in this user variable and after that we are getting the user id using this dollar user variable and storing the user id in this variable so right now we have the product id and logged in user id so what we can do is we can just uh declare a variable in order to store the product id and user id in the cart table and we also need to add the cart model name at the top as well so we'll mention the cart model name here so we send here cart we will add backslash model backslash cart so let's put down here let's declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we mention the cart model now and before need we need to say here new so dollar data equal to new cart then we say here dollar data this arrow sign user underscore id 
and this user underscore id is coming from the database table here you can see user underscore id so we'll say here user underscore id equal to this one dollar user id and after it we're going to say let me just copy this then paste it here and here we we'll say product underscore id so we we'll say product underscore id and this product underscore id will come from the database table and here we are going to say this dollar product id and after it we are just going to save it so we we'll say here dollar data this l sign save and after saving data we will keep the user on the same page so we we'll say here return redirect to first again this arrow sign back so let's save this and let's go back let me just refresh here and let me just log in okay let me just show you if i now click on add to cart it will take us to the login base it will just log in then we'll just log in from here click on login there you can see currently we are logged in and we have the logout option let me just go down and let's click on add to cart is reloaded and it took us back to the same place and if we now just refresh our there you can see we have a product cut over here let me just let me just add one more product let's choose uh this one click on add to cart and if i now refresh there you can see there is one more product so right now after adding the product let's show a mess at the top that product added through the card successfully so for it what we can do is we can use toaster just like before so let me just go to the uh admin controller we'll go to app http controller and here you can see admin controller and here you can see toaster timeout 10 seconds so let me just copy this and after saving the data for the card we're going to say here to start timeout, close button, add success, uh, product added to the cart successfully. Let's say product added to the cart successfully. So let me just refresh here again. Let's click on add to cart. There you can see you are about to see a message product added to the cart successfully. And let me just refresh here there you can see user id is on each time and the product id is different product id is different over here so let me just log out from here and let's try to and let's try to log in as different user let's say here email will be giamin and password then login so right now if you go down and click on add to cart and click on add to cart the product added and if we now refresh here there you can see product added over here so right now let me just show you one more thing let me just log out and let me just log in as user again and click on login and here you can see uh, it didn't show us any message over here but if i now just log out and let's click on uh, this product add to cart and if we now log in as a user then click on login it will show us a message product added to the cart because we logged in from using this button so it will store the user id so when we logged in it will automatically add this certain product so here if we refresh you will see one more photo over here so this is all for this tutorial so in the next tutorial what we are going to do is that when the user added product to the cart it will show the number of product that is added to the cart over here and user will also be able to see all the product that they added to their cart so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials